Hi, I'm Michael Salerno, and I'm going to describe our initial experience using Heart Vista at Stanford. Here are my disclosures. So we wanted to run uh, Siemens product sequences using Heart Vista, and our goal is to be able to run both Heart Vista and native Siemens sequences. And this provides the opportunity to utilize specialized vendor-developed sequences and to use the Heart Vista AI framework to drive the scanner. Uh, in these initial uh, experiments, we took advantage of uh, the Siemens XSI framework, and we performed these experiments on a Siemens Skyra. Um, we performed uh, studies in three volunteers using a protocol without contrast, and this included harvest the sequences for scouting axial SSFP in real-time color flow, and Siemens sequences for Cine, and then using uh, T1 and T2 mapping with MyoMaps. So when we first uh, set this up and start up XSI, uh, this gives control of the scanner to the Heart Vista framework. Here for the Siemens sequences we're using, uh, the system will load in the sequences here for T2, T1, and the Cine imaging. Now uh, we initiated the scouting from the Heart Vista framework and we'll see that it acquires some axial images, and then it's gonna scout a long axis image followed by short axis images. And then it's gonna go on to scout a three chamber followed by a four chamber. And then finally, it's gonna reorient the four chamber. Okay, after that, this is gonna run the uh, Heart Vista SSFP sequences. We just ran this as a free breathing uh, sequence. And then we're going to run the Siemens sequences. You'll see here it's planning the slices for the T2 map. And then if we look on the Siemens console, we see here that it's running the uh, T2 mapping sequence. And then the T2 maps are going to appear here in the in the console like they would if you're running it directly on the scanner. And now it's planning the T1 mapping sequences. Again, looking at this from the Heart Vista framework, it's acquiring the T1 map here. And then the T1 map is going to show up uh, both in the Heart Vista framework as well as on the Siemens scanner. The next thing that's going to be run is the Cine short axis stack. Again, this is going to be done using a Siemens sequence. And so here's one image of the stack. And then these are acquired in um, the standard um, breath held uh, Cine sequences. So here the patient is getting their breathing instructions. And then you'll see this scanner picks up again here. Uh, to acquire the image, and we'll see the next Cine is going to appear here on the scanner in the uh, Heart Vista framework. When we look at this on the scanner, because it's a Siemens sequence, it shows up here on the sequence as if it was ran natively. Uh, this is the last image from the short axis stack, and now it's automatically uh, planning that three chamber view. And then after acquiring the three chamber, it sets up the four chamber. And then uh, here we have the four chamber view. And now we're turning the scanner back over to uh, another one of the Heart Vista sequences. So here we can see that uh, here is the last Cine in a four chamber that came up. It's now going to run the Heart Vista real time color flow sequence. And that basically gives you a basic um, demonstration of how we're running the uh, scanner uh, using Siemens sequences from the Heart Vista framework. So, in summary, using Heart Vista to drive Siemens scanner using the XSI is feasible. Uh, this is really a preliminary way of controlling the scanner. Uh, rapid scouting uh, using AI 
and minimal user interface, I'm sorry, user interaction uh, results in improved consistency in terms of the slice planning and also um, improves efficiency. Uh, this has the potential to utilize both Parvista and vendor provided sequences. And uh, we've so far had just preliminary experience in three volunteers and we'll begin clinical evaluation in February. Thank you very much for your attention.